Welcome to the Garden Room series, and we are doing First Fix Electrical. So when we clad the ceiling here, Ed and I ran our cables under instruction to the points where we needed them to be. So we needed to be behind the really nice thermo wood cladding ceiling. They're all in, but the real fun begins on the other side. So where we've done all our petitioning, what we like to do is work out where everything is, okay? So like 90% of stuff. Sometimes we have to take a bit of advice from the Sparky or the electrician because they might say, actually, we can't get there, but we can get here. So we go around putting all the back boxes in, we get them all in perfectly level, at the right distance, so when we put our plasterboard over, they're all exactly in the right place, so they're not too deep and they're not too proud. So we then um, nog everything, Patrices as well, anywhere where there's a wall light, we put a patris. Let's take you through and have a little look at that. So all the cabling is traveling this way. Now we've got some dedicated roofs that we've put all the way through, above the top of where the thermal board comes to here, and then down where the thermal board will meet, which is a nice safe position because we'll run our ceiling thermal board down, this one will butt against it, and there's no chance of us fixing into it. So we are cabling on the warm side. I want everything to be on the warm side and I know where it all is. So we'll go around and photograph every single cable and run position. And that just means that in the future, if we want to do any work, we know roughly where the cables are. So that's a bit of a trick. So areas where we have a spur, for example, or another spur for lighting, Sometimes we won't have a patches for those because we're pulling those through into cabinets, for example. Okay, so there's some cabinets in here which will have some illumination. Then we've got a combination of LED strip lights that are going to go in. We've got some down lighters as well, but with a PIR cold roof, we're not going to break through our thermal board or our insulation layer because it's really tricky to make those nice and airtight and also maintain all of your U-values, if you like, or your sort of heat loss. So going over to here, you'll see a mass of cabling. So I'm a strong believer in getting as many sockets as you can in. So in here, for example, we're gonna have just like a little garden room kitchen. You can make a cup of tea or whatever. We put all of our cables through at particular heights. We like to, we like to put them through at a certain height. We keep them 100 millimeters apart and we keep all of our holes dead in line. So we just set a laser up, it doesn't take any time to go around and work our roots out, okay? So it's fairly straightforward. Put a patris in between the battens here, and that allows the cable to come straight the way down and into the socket box. We've got a 38 mil insulated glass wall over the front of those, so we, so we use a 35 millimeter back box, which is absolutely perfect for that. So the brains behind the business is one of my oldest friends and someone who I've worked with for the longest. We started working in 1989 together. Colin is here. All right, Colin. Hi, guys. And yeah, as I say, Colin has been my like electrical guru and best friend, I might add, for decades and decades and decades. And I think that's really, really useful because Colin knows when he comes to see us on our jobs to run cables, generally a lot of the sort of work that some people might expect us a sparky to turn up and do so drilling putting back boxes up which they're more than capable of doing but actually for carpenters working together it's super quick for us and you might also notice that we run our board nuggets to a position to a laser that our wall sockets our switches can all be run up against it so the datums are already fixed now there are some regulations around socket heights and socket positions and of course we have to adhere to those and although without looking at the numbers it's like 450 up from the floor to the bottom of the sockets and that's all to do with accessibility and that sort of stuff and i quite like that height as well so that's all done the lighting all the cables for the lighting are in and it's now a matter of boarding i'll just show you some of the patches that ed's done so we've got high level wall lights here so you can see it's a full patris, it's 19 mil OSB and it's got a batten either side and that basically means that we've got the flexibility to put a decent sized wall light on there. Obviously switch positions, two way switching and all that sort of stuff. You can also see where we do bring a cable up the inside, we use the barbed clip that you just push straight into the PIR. It holds the cables really nicely for where we have a pendant and again we've just got a patris which goes between 
at that point as well. So it's all pretty good. We're just about to have some lunch because it's almost done, mate. Yep. Yeah, it's almost done. 100% now. I know, so, um, and that's it. So welcome to, this is introducing Colin. Hi. This is, Colin's been one of the oldest members of the family. So it's great to finally get you onto the channel at last. And I'm sure when we come to do the second fix and all the nice stuff like the LED strips and all that, maybe we'll feature some of that as well, if you're interested. Thanks for joining me. This is the Garden Room series. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, and I would appreciate it.